Chris, what is our fifth main topic today? This one is from Slim Kim. Hey, John and crew. So I know we're all excited for Daredevil's return in She-Hulk, but the question is, will he still be dark or lighter in tone? Well, the head writer was asked about it, and it seems like he'll be on the lighter side with her saying, quote, people have already seen a version who is very dramatic, dark, brooding. I don't care either way, and I don't think anyone should be surprised by it. What are your thoughts? All right. Thanks a lot for saying that insulin, Kim. And sometime yesterday, you could feel a tremor in the force. <laughs> like a million voices cried out in terror. When headlines started sweeping all over the place, Daredevil is being made more fun no! and lighthearted and going, no, <laughs> and people like all of a sudden silenced. And where does this come from? Well, we know that Daredevil is going to be popping up in She-Hulk, right? Uh, unfortunately, Rob and I have known this for two years. <laughs> Daredevil is popping up in She-Hulk. We, we, however, thought it was going to be in the Spider-Man movie that they were going to be in together. But no, no such thing. But we've all now seen in the trailers that Daredevil is clear. There's got the uh, the new you know comic book classic yellow uh, yeah. kind of mm -hmm. outfit, yeah, which I love, which looks really good on him and all that kind of stuff. Well, one of the writers of She Hulk, as Slim Kim was mentioning to, started start talk about it and mentioned that it's going to be a more lighthearted Daredevil. This is what they had to say. This comes to us from Bounding into Comics who wrote this. After briefly noting that Matt Murdock's actor, uh, Matt Murdock actor Charlie Cox was so wonderful and so game to do whatever, and he's such a wonderful actor and a wonderful human being, Gal, one of the writers of She-Hulk, then revealed that what was so fun about bringing him and Daredevil into our world is that people have already seen a Daredevil who is very dramatic, a little bit on the heavy side, very dark, brooding, and it was so fun to be able to do what we do with every character cameo from the MCU is we take them from the environment that you know them from, which is much more dramatic and action oriented role, much more on the serious side. And we bring them into our world and they get to play in the tone of She-Hulk and they get to explore and we get to see a lighter side of that character. And that comes to us from bounding into comics. Now, a couple of interesting notes on this. And again, we're going to find out definitively soon, but there's a couple of, comments in there that still bring up that whole question about is this truly the exact same daredevil that was in the netflix series or is this just a very very similar daredevil and terminology like oh now that we're bringing him into the world of the mcu and now that we're doing all this kind of i, I just find those comments very very interesting but still let's get back to the main thing here so there's two ways of looking at this on the one hand there is them saying, yeah, we're going to look at the lighter side of this character. And, and that's got some people worried. Number one, that shouldn't have anybody worried. Like adding another dimension to the character is not necessarily a bad thing. That doesn't necessarily also mean that they're eradicating other elements to their nature. All I'm saying here is that nothing in this comment seemed to be absolutely definitive. All that we do know is that they're going to add another thing. And by the way, I would suggest that spite his appearance in Spider-Man No Way Home showed a little bit of a lighter side of him as well. Like, what do they say? Oh, yeah. Like, psh, catch the break. How do you do that? I'm a very good lawyer. <laughs> like, come on. That was funny. And everybody loved the line. And nobody panicked. Nobody went, oh, my God. But Matt Murdock made a joke. No, everyone laughed. and laughed. Ah, He made a joke. What's happened? Like, nobody freaked out when he made the big funny in Spider-Man No Way Home, because that joke didn't undermine anything about the character that we necessarily like. It doesn't mean they won't undermine it, but from what we saw, we didn't see anything undermined. And them adding in a moment of levity for him to make a really good joke, that just added to the scene and made it fun. And I think that's the one thing that people are losing sight of, that just because they're mentioning they're going to give him a little bit more of that, that doesn't necessarily mean they're going to take away from a lot of things that we like about it. Also, let's look at this too. While they don't definitively say, hey, we're going to give him the lighter side, but it's only going to be in She-Hulk. Let's also keep in mind that this is in She-Hulk. She-Hulk is a fourth wall breaking kind of world where they can get away with a little bit more of that stuff. And if they do put a little bit more jovial of a nature on them, that doesn't necessarily mean when we see this same Daredevil again in either Echo or the upcoming 18 episode, uh, 18 episode Daredevil series that they're necessarily going to bring that over into that as well. So it could mean that, but even if it does mean that, 
it's not necessarily bad news. So I just think people are getting a little bit too worked up, a little bit prematurely. I get it. After coming out of Thor, Love and Thunder, where they really leaned heavy into the silly aspects of the humor, and then all of a sudden you hear, they're going to make Daredevil more lighthearted. Yuck, yuck, yuck. I mean, I doesn't necessarily mean that. So I think we're in good hands, and we're going to find out here pretty quick. Hey, guys, we want to take a second and thank the sponsor of this episode, Babbel. Now, as an Italian, did you guys know my real name is Giovanni? Anyway, as an Italian that doesn't actually speak a lot of Italian, I've always wanted to learn better Italian so I could converse with my Italian relatives. And that's where Babbel is a godsend. And for you guys, for all your summer travels or whether you're going abroad or staying domestic and want to immerse yourself in the culture, now is the perfect time to start Babbel. Babbel is the language learning app that sold more than 10 million subscriptions. Thanks to Babbel's addictively fun and easy bite-sized language lessons, there's still time to learn a new language before you reach your destination. With Babbel, you only need 10 minutes to complete a lesson so you can start having real-life conversations in a new language in as little as three weeks. Now, other language learning apps use AI for their lesson plans, but Babbel lessons were created by over 150 language experts. With Babbel, you can choose from 14 different languages, including Spanish, French, Italian, and German and others. Right now, you can save up to 60% off your subscription when you go to babbel.com slash campia. That's babbel.com slash campia for up to 60% off your subscription. Babbel, language for life. Anyway, Chris, you hear these comments by the writer, What's your takeaway from it? I love how polarized the internet gets so quickly. I'm like, <laughs> he's going to be no lighter. facts or information. Yeah. He's basically <laughs> just going to be chuckle fuck McGilligutty. Like <laughs> that. It's just all jokes all the time now. Wong did karaoke in Shang-Chi and we didn't panic about that, you know? And also, let's talk about Daredevil real quick. He wore a sweater to a Christmas party in the comics that says, I'm not Daredevil. He created a fake twin at one point to help further conceal his identity. Just because he's going to make a few jokes here and there doesn't mean that he's not going to fight crime the same way that we've seen. It's just perhaps not going to be as bloody, as brutal. Karen also didn't do heroin. I know I'm always like talking about this, but she didn't do heroin in the Netflix show and we weren't upset by that. She just had a drinking problem, just had a drinking problem. There are ways that you can adapt stories without having to completely upend them and change the nature of the character. It can still be true to the Matt Murdock we all know and love, but fit into this universe more seamlessly. Rob, what do you think? I, I couldn't have said it better than you just did. Most of the Chuckle and McGillicuddy part? Uh, no, no, <laughs> that, no. I, I love that. I mean, here, here's the thing. <laughs> She-Hulk is a comedy series. It's designed to be a comedy series. One of my favorite comic runs of all time was Justice League from the mid-80s that was comedic. I love the Justice League. I took it, took it very seriously, but they decided to do a comedy Justice League with Batman and Guy Gardner's Green Lantern and Shazam, and it was hilarious. Now, I still got my serious Justice League, but when they, they, they twisted, they took the concept of Justice League, and you knew you were watching a comedic Justice League. It was funny. This show announces from the very beginning, it is, a, like you said, a fourth wall breaking comedy. It's not like Thor Love and Thunder, where we don't necessarily want an all silly movie all the time. We expect, if you can, you can have it be funny, but Thor is not, if they had announced, this is Marvel's first comedy, it's Thor Love and Thunder, you know, and they leaned into the comedy, I don't think people would have had much of a, well, it's Thor just shouldn't be as comedic. It didn't work. That was the whole thing about the silliness of the movie worked against the character and worked against the plot, I thought, of the film. But this already announces itself as a comedy. So if they're going to be taking down or sending up Daredevil, it isn't, it's going to be because by design, within the context of this story, Daredevil can be funny. That doesn't mean that the same character, the same actor, can't be dramatic and a badass when he's over on Echo, because Echo, the tone is inherently different. I mean, this is this is taking place in a different, its own thing, and it needs to be, I think, looked at as such. Because like you astutely pointed out, in No Way Home, Daredevil could be funny in that particular instance. It wasn't brooding. It was Matt Murdock, you know, he's a lawyer. He's being hired to protect Spider-Man, and, and he can make a joke. Because look at, he has a his partner, Foggy Nelson. The guy's name is Foggy. You don't think they have <laughs> fun together? Avocado law. You know, I mean, it's, 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 it, it, it's all depending on the context. Here's a question. 
I, I think all of us at this table are not panicking because we, we, we acknowledge you can give him a new dimension. You can make him a little bit funny. That doesn't necessarily take away from the other and thing. And I've had two years to cope. And we, yeah. <laughs> okay, but let's speculate for a second. Let's say we start watching She-Hulk and we meet Matt Murdock and he is a jokester. Like he's just <laughs> all the time silly, Has all the nose. time just cracking, cracking wise and all that kind of stuff. But let's say he does do what everybody's worried about. Like every, everybody's that court, they're all worried he's going to become this big clown, right? Okay, let's say they do that. Will that be off-putting? Because yeah, I, I know for me, while I'm like, hey, guys, listen, it's in She-Hulk. They're going to do something differently. Adding humor doesn't take away from the other elements of them. But I got to admit, for me, if he does end up being exactly what everybody's so worried about them being, and I don't think it will, but if they did, I got to say that'll probably be a little bit off-putting for me. What about you? Well, I mean, I think it, it really, I think it won't because the entirety of the show is designed to be a certain way. Whereas it's like watching a legal drama. You can watch a really serious legal drama, or then you can watch something more like Ally McBeal. And you know that within the context of Ally McBeal, there's going to be, they're going to lean into the humor of it more. But that doesn't mean I can't then go watch Paul Newman in The Verdict, right. which is a very, it's still about a lawyer, but it's a very serious, if you brought Paul Newman's drunk character into Ally McBeal, you could, you could make him funny. But then he could still go back to the verdict and tell a very serious story about this legal conundrum and a man trying to redeem himself. So I think with Daredevil, it's like putting him in the comedic version of Justice League. You know, suddenly everything's kind of funny. The whole thing is a comedy. You're just looking at it through a different lens. All right, guys. Question is for you. How panicked are you? Are you like a zero on the meas? Like, no, 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 this is going to be totally fine. Are you like the sky is falling, number 10? I, I don't know. What do you think about this? And how do you interpret the comments that we've seen? Are you really looking for? I know I cannot wait for She-Hulk to start this mm -hmm. week. We're going to get some answers here pretty quick. Whatever you guys think, jump down into the comment section below and leave your thoughts there.